Hello, welcome to the audio series from movingcrafts.com. Movingcrafts.com is a website dedicated to the professional practice of massage. We have courses and blogs and articles on various practices and different styles of massage. If you enjoy what you hear, please check us out at movingcrafts.com. In this video, we present an audio version of our blog, The Importance of Self-Care for the Practitioner, Part 1. The topic for this post is self-care for the practitioner, which is so very important to caring for others. It's so important, in fact, that this will not be the only time that we talk about this, either here or in our blog. This is not going to be a totally comprehensive guide to self-care here in part one. This is a discussion about why you should keep it close to mind as you proceed with your learning and your daily life. And it's a discussion that will be ongoing. Now, the gist of this discussion is to say you can't give what you don't have. And in a way, that says almost everything. If your energy is low... Where will the focus and intention come from to give a healthy, positive massage experience to someone else? And drinking lots of coffee does not help you fake it. It doesn't work. Self-care can be thought of in many ways. It can be broken down into a list of things to do, which we can do in a later post. But we know the basic things that go on that list. Eat well, get good sleep, drink water, stretch, meditate, and focus on your intention. That's a good start. But there is a deeper, more fundamental truth that underlies this discussion, which is the truth of your own vulnerability. That's right. Because you are strongest when you are aware of and respectful of your own vulnerability. Self-care cannot proceed well if you are close to this fundamental of self-awareness. There are many people who teach moving and healing crafts whom, perhaps unfortunately, are confused about their role in the whole thing. They believe it comes from them. But anything that we give to others that is truly healing comes from beyond us all and simply passes through us. The more you understand your own vulnerability as a human, the better you function as a conduit for that energy. And it can be that simple. <clears throat> massage and the loving conscious energy behind it does not emanate from within you nor from within me. It comes from the one source that all loving consciousness originates from. You can call it what you want, but it is a vibration and an energy that flows through all things. It is an energy that we as practitioners can hope to facilitate and direct toward the healing experience of our client. And that is all but it will always be a higher intelligence doing the work. Your job is to know it so well that your own intuition can guide that energy through you. And if you don't take care of yourself, you won't be able to do that very well. And once again, it is that simple. <clears throat> so the relationship between you as a facilitator of higher energy and your own self-care is similar to the relationship that exists between crystal clear spring water and the pipe that carries it down the mountain to the people. If the pipe is dirty and not well cared for, the life force it delivers will not be of a high quality regardless of how it began, and it will not serve the people. Taking care of yourself, whether it is to make yourself a better facilitator of higher energy or not, is also something that you kind of owe the divine. It is a sacred duty, especially if you make a contract with the divine to deliver some of its goodness to others, which is pretty much what we're doing here. Now, that is the concept I want to impress upon you with this post. If you embrace self-care as a duty, you automatically place yourself properly in the order of things, not as a guru or a goddess or some other silly transhuman concept, but as a humble and diligent servant to something truly greater than you. The irony, of course, is that if you do that, if you allow yourself to shrink in terms of ego size, you open the door to becoming so much better at delivering the universal energy and so much more than your ego would allow. 
because you know it isn't you. Kind of ironic, isn't it? That's why sometimes we say the best thing you can do is just stay out of your own way. You still get the accolades, you still get the respect, and people come to you for their massage, but you yourself will feel calmer, perhaps happier, knowing that you can rely on the universal energy to kind of do all the hard work. All you need to do is take good care of the facilitator so that you are prepared for these moments. And as funny as it sounds, you will get really good at looking after yourself because you are thinking about it in the right way. Do what you need to do in order to be a healthy human and the powers that be will take care of the rest. This is the only way. And we leave you with that to consider.